in place. We're really excited about the process because we built on what other states have done. Um, and so our students who do not pass that LEAP test um, but meet all their other graduation requirements, so they have all of the Carnegie units that they need to graduate, can show their no knowledge through a portfolio, but they have to do other things as well. The most important one is they have to show us that they are ready for the workforce. So there's an employability component of this graduation test requirement, and in that employability component, we've also built that out to require that students meet with local workforce development experts so that they can get connected to opportunities in our field. Because we know a lot of our students are not necessarily interested in going to college, but we need electricians and plumbers and carpenters in our community. And so this process is really about empowering students to say, you may not have done great on a standardized test, but we still want to support you in becoming productive members of our community. Absolutely. And as Dr. Bofi is talking, you can take a look now at the requirements for a successful appeal as she was talking about and mentioning. And you talk about these requirements, but also about the appeal process. So when can students uh, file an appeal and how do they start that whole process? So it actually went into effect December 20th. So thank you for having me today because our students who would have graduated within May of 2023, but only did not because of one test score are able to go through the appeals process now. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of school districts have mid-year graduations and so families with a student in that position would be eligible to graduate now and as soon as schools start back up because we know everybody's on holiday break as soon as they start back up the schools can go through a local school building level committee process to make sure it happens. All right, some important information to look out for. And of course, that uh, appeals process, December 20th, I mean, just happened. Just happened. All right, so make sure you pay attention to that. And you can find more information at the bottom of your screen at that website. Dr. Bofi, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Of course, we'll be right back.